Hey there, I'm trying out my new webcaster gun for the first time. I filled up my air compressor, I powered the device, I put a glue stick in there, and it's almost about ready. I'm gonna shoot it on this little grave Halloween decoration. Okay, I'm not totally positive if this is ready to go, but the glue stick is in there. I've got an extra. We're gonna try it. We're gonna turn on our air. We've got it hooked up to the gun. It says to hook it up to uh, 90 PSI. Have that gone. So it's ready to go. I'm gonna shoot it on here and see what happens. Knocks that over. <laughs> That's what happens. Take two. All right. Okay, I've got a sandbag on here now. Hopefully that'll keep it up. Uh, we're gonna turn on the air. Well, I want to knock it over, but we're gonna try. Well, I'm gonna put another glue stick in there. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I get it. You kinda have to aim. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Okay, nice. I'll, I'll call that good for now. I was going a little too fast with squirting and it was getting all over the nozzle. But wow, look at that. I even got one way over here. That is so cool. Take a look at that. Nice. <laughs> that looks pretty darn good. Wow. Ooh. They're relatively strong too. That is so cool. Let's see what this guy does. I don't think it'll open with that sandbag. Uh, nope. <laughs> Glued it shut. Let's take this sandbag off. Ooh, and they stretch. I just put that sandbag and there's a whole bunch stuck to it and it still kept those webs on there. You can kind of shape them too. Let's try this out again. <laughs> it's trying to open, but it can't. All these webs, I've pretty much shut it. I glued it shut. There's a little skeleton guy in there. Wow, that works very well. This is the webcaster gun. Nice. And I'm using a 20 gallon Dewalt. Uh, you probably don't need to use a 20 gallon, but it does shoot out a lot of air at one time. So, I think I would give that a thumbs up for sure. What do you guys think? There's just another look. I started pulling these off, but whoa, they stretch forever. You get pretty sticky on there. This cardboard box, like they don't want to come off of that box, honestly. Ooh, and on this, if I did it a little lighter on my touch I think it would be even better oh it looks like it shot a glob of glue oh it came off this is a styrofoam little decoration Halloween decoration but wow works quite well for webs this is gonna be a lot of fun for uh, next Halloween or whenever you want to use Whenever you want to get webs on something, I think it's going to work well. Okay, I'm working on cleaning this up. Let's see. You can kind of, you can almost just run your hand flat across um, whatever you're taking it off. And it does come off. It seems like it, honestly, if I was easier on that trigger, just, just making it come out, oops, and that's leaking glue. Um, yeah, just easier on the trigger, it would shoot finer webs. And some of these fine ones just, they just peel off. 
pretty nicely. Heck, I'll leave it like that. I'll just leave it stored like that uh, for next year. And that's great because it's, it's not going to rot or it's not going to mold or it's pretty much just rubbery hot glue that's on there. Okay, let's try it again. It looks great. It looks great with, with the webs that are stuck on there as almost a permanent decoration. Here's some of the stuff that I've taken off. This is kind of how it looks afterwards. I was just pull, after I pulled it off, off of there. Almost looks like the store-bought stuff you could buy to put webs up. I probably wouldn't reuse this. I mean, it might be kind of cool for like a, if you put it on something and I don't know, you stretched it across, but that's basically what it is. Yeah. Like, comment, and thumbs up. Thanks. <laughs>